Thanks for joining me on my next video. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be changing the door slides on this uh, front loader GE dryer. It's uh, There's a model number on it in case you're wondering. And I uh, picked a good time to do it because my uh, drawstring on my shorts got stuck between the door and the uh, drum. So once I have that apart, I'll be able to remove this without damaging anything and use that opportunity to change the slides. So order these online. There's four of them, two on each side. And uh, what that does is uh, if you're having any, experiencing any issues with your, your dryer, basically not rotating freely, or if you're hearing a lot of squeaking, most likely these things are worn out and they need to be replaced. If you don't replace them, then you risk uh, doing more damage to your dryer. So it's best you get these done. Not sure if you can hear the squeak or not, but as the drum turns, it makes a squeaking sound. And what that is, is there's uh, about four glides on the side of the drum that over time they wear out. And those glides allow the drum to rotate uh, freely within the door itself. So I've ordered them online, I've got them, and I'm going to replace them and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'll just show you how the, I do that and hopefully the squeaking sound is gone as well it will preserve the life of your drum and door. So I've pulled my dryer out far enough uh, for me to be able to get a screwdriver in here. It's a Phillips screwdriver. Not sure if you can see the screw in there or not. And there's three of them. Once I remove that I'll be able to lift this uh, top cover off. So I've loosened those three screws and uh, I do want to mention before doing anything on any appliance make sure you unplug it just to be safe. So I can now that the screws have been removed I can basically take this off make sure I don't lose my screws here. Okay and there's two more screws there's one here and there's one over here I'm going to remove that and that'll allow me to uh, basically lift this cover up. So now that I've removed those two screws, you can basically just pop this cover up. So with the top cover removed, what you want to do next is disconnect these two uh, connectors. Just lift up on the tab here and just pull that off. Do the same on this side. So the next two screws I'm going to remove are this one here and this one. And that's going to allow me to basically lift up this entire front assembly here. So with the two screws removed, I'm able to lift it up and just put it aside here. Just kind of get it out of the way. There's no need to disconnect any cables. So with the front panel out of the way, the next two screws we're going to remove. This one here, this one here, and then there's two on the bottom here that we're going to uh, loosen up. So there's one on the bottom here and one on the bottom there. You don't have to fully remove it, just loosen it and the whole thing will just lift up. So I've removed the two top screws, I've loosened the bottom one, the two bottoms, and pretty much just uh, kind of tilt it forward as you slide off and that's it. So I've got the door removed and uh, here's my drawstring that got stuck. I'm just going to pull that out, take my shorts out. Okay, so now I can just pry the door off. So the drum slides are right here. You can see here's the one on this side. And if you notice the one on this side is completely completely gone. There's nothing here left. So those are where the slides were. There's one on this side and the two that are on this side are completely gone which means the door is now just rotating on uh, there's nothing between the door and the drum, so that's why it's probably showing some signs of wear over here. So I'm going to replace those two slides, and the same on this side. Only this one is intact, and this one here is also gone. So I'm going to replace those four slides and put the door back on. What you're going to do is put it in here with the hole, and then just kind of bend it up and kind of get it in there. Okay, so that's the new slide in place on this side. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Uh, 
This is the old one, as you can see, it's in uh, pretty bad shape here. Nothing left from the slide whatsoever. Okay, do the same thing. Put the hole in first, and then just kind of bend it, and kind of just put it in there. Sorry, I'm trying to film this and do this at the same time. Okay, so that slides in place. And I'm going to replace this slide as well. This one's also in pretty bad shape here. So now I'm going to replace the top one as well. I've already removed the old one as you saw earlier. Uh, this is what it looks like again. As you can see, it's pretty worn out. Very bad shape. Um, pretty much nothing left of it. And this is the one that was uh, on this side here where I replaced this one. So I'm going to take this one here and do the same thing. Basically just uh, get it over the hole there. And just kind of bend it in. Okay, so I put that in off camera. I needed two hands to get that in nicely. And I've just got the one left. As you can see on this side, there was nothing here so it was totally destroyed uh, probably explains why my drum was making a lot of squeaking sounds and as you can see there's a lot of uh, wear on the on the door itself from the uh, drum rubbing right up against the door without having the slides to uh, to kind of uh, isolate it so I'm gonna put this one in as well same thing just put this hole over this clip and then just bend it inside here Okay, so all four slides have been replaced, brand new. I'm going to proceed to put everything back together, and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I'll turn it on, see how it sounds, uh, so stay tuned for that. Just a little trick, when you're getting this back, uh, what you want to do is uh, pretty much get the bottom uh, screws in, in terms of making sure it's resting on the bottom screws. Then as you push it forward, what you're going to have to do is just lift the drum a little bit and that'll allow you to get it over the, uh, the door and then you can push the door in. Okay, so I've got everything put back together. Here's the moment of truth. I loaded up the dryer and I'm just going to uh, run it and see how it sounds. Well, the drum appears to be spinning nicely. I don't hear that squeaking sound I heard earlier. Totally makes sense considering that uh, this is what I was left with on one side of the drum on the door in terms of the glides and on the other side this one's actually not in bad shape however there was one completely gone so that was totally destroyed so replaced all four glides and the dryer sounds actually like new there's no noise no squeaking doesn't sound like it's uh, there's any rubbing going on so Definitely something worth doing and uh, hopefully get some more life out of this uh, dryer. Thanks for watching and once again, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.